day. My name is David Troy, and this is the David Troy Cell Line. So I haven't done a video like this in a while where I've just told you what I thought, or what I'm thinking, or what I'm going through on YouTube or in the salon. So I just thought I would jump on here and explain to you guys what's happening. You know, I'm trying to upload Tuesday to Friday, and as I'm going through the process, I didn't know if it's going to be more beneficial or less beneficial, or if the content that I'm putting out is worth putting out, or, you know, if you're enjoying it or if you're not enjoying it. If you're a new hairdresser, I feel like this channel is more focused towards you guys that are just starting out in the industry. I'm up here at 6 o'clock in the morning and I sort of walk out at 6, 7 o'clock at night and it's just sort of what it takes. That's okay, that's a good thing, it's a positive thing, it's not a bad thing, so please understand I'm not complaining, but if you're in the industry and you wanna know what it takes to run a salon, I think that this is gonna be more beneficial to you. So, yeah, I hope you like it. So one thing that, you know, a lot of people don't realize is how much inventory sits on our shelves. You know, thousands of dollars just sitting here, uh, you know, I'm not a big retail person. I don't push a lot of retail. I, I think people have so many opportunities and so many choices of what's out there. But the retail that sits in the cell one, I have anywhere from two to three thousand dollars worth of retail just sitting on my shelves that I have to invest in. Most salons, if you look at their figures, it's about five percent. And now you can buy the shit on Amazon. You know, people at Amazon are taking over the world, I think. But we typically have Paul Mitchell in the salon. I have the salon guy stuff in here as well, which I, you know, his stuff I really like. I also have my own shampoo and conditioner. I think if they like it, they will get it. And they'll come back and they'll keep getting it when you understand how it works. So, you know, the markup on product and, but as I say, the product, uh, we don't sell everything. You know, there's some products that just do sit on the shelf, unfortunately, and they don't belong there. Of course, they should use what we use at our station and they should be able to go home and reproduce what we do by using the same product and that's why we recommend what we use or what we should recommend if people ask what we're using <laughs> and don't even get me started about color the amount of inventory that we have to keep as a salon owner is ridiculous but that's just part of it, you know, it's part of the investment, but there is a lot of money just sitting in the salon and some people don't understand the concept of what it costs, you know, again, a couple of thousand dollars worth of color just sitting here, you have to use it, you have to get your money back, it's just, it's numbers, it's math, it's, it's you know, not only, you got to understand, you're not opening a salon, you're opening a business. So you have to invest in that and a business should make money, you know. Um, but I'm trying to be real and I'm trying to get you guys to enjoy it. I'm just trying to figure out what content is more important. Is it the hair side? Is it the, you know, the salon side? Is it the business side? Is it, is it what it takes, you know, to run a business? I, that's where, is it interesting or is it not, you know? No, I find it interesting, but I'm a hairdresser and I enjoy this stuff. I could watch someone walk around their salon all day and talk about it, but that's just, that's me. You know, shampoo should take two pumps. If you come up here and you're like, you know, 10,000 pumps on a $70 bottle of shampoo, you're like, oh, come on, you're killing me until you actually realize how much money is sitting up here. Okay, I'm pretty much done with my rant. If you call it that. <laughs> 